Greetings to everybody, and welcome back to Stimulus Updates, your one-stop source for the most recent information and updates regarding economic stimulus measures. We have some interesting discoveries to share with you today, and I'm Joseph, your host. To ensure you never miss an update on anything stimulus-related, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell before we get into today's updates. In these trying times, we want to keep you informed and in control. Okay, let's get started straight away. Prepare yourself for an in-depth exploration of the specifics of this groundbreaking choice that will fundamentally alter the lives of several senior citizens throughout the country. Let's first and foremost recognize how significant this increase is. It's more than just a figure. For our elderly who have long struggled with money problems, it's a ray of hope and a lifeline. Consider the effects of receiving an extra $2,400 per month, a doorway to a better quality of life and a promise of a better future. This is evidence of our society's dedication to the welfare of those who have paved the path for us, not just an economic boost, Examining the ramifications of this financial windfall makes it clear that it's about dignity and respect rather than just money. Our elders, who are frequently disregarded, are now at last getting the credit they merit. However, this choice is not made in a vacuum. It starts important discussions about the larger social issues we face, such as how important it is to support marginalized groups or how the government should ensure the welfare of its people, especially those who have made major contributions to the advancement of our society. Let's now discuss the rippling effects. While the larger monthly checks are undoubtedly a start in the right direction, they also highlight persistent problems that need to be addressed. Senior social isolation, access to affordable housing, and health care. This cash boost is intended to address their issues. Imagine a society in which our elderly have easy access to health care, can live comfortably. They participate in social events they used to be excluded from. The advantages extend beyond monetary comfort to include well-being and personal growth. Seniors who have more money can spend it on learning activities, look into alternative wellness and care models, and take part in preventive healthcare practices. This is an investment in our seniors' long-term health and happiness, not merely a way to allay worries in the short term but the implications are not limited to that. Seniors' involvement in the community and volunteerism are encouraged by this rise. Increased financial stability could give them the confidence to volunteer their time and expertise to different community projects. This improves the social fabric of communities overall, in addition to improving their individual lives by giving them a feeling of purpose. While we rejoice over this financial windfall for our elderly, it's important to have an open mind. The $2,000 monthly rise is definitely revolutionary, but it should also lead to other significant reforms in society. Let's build a culture that not only values, but also celebrates the health of our aging population. That's it, the information we've all been waiting for. The House's confirmation of an increase for seniors to $2,000 per month is a ray of optimism, encouraging creativity and fostering older people's social ties. Let's work together to create a strong and encouraging environment for our elderly. As we move through this pivotal time, stay tuned for additional updates. Let's now explore this important decision's ramifications in further detail. What are the implications for our elderly population and society at large beyond the short-term financial relief? One of the most important aspects of senior citizens' overall health is about to undergo a major change. 
Seniors who have more money may find it simpler to get the essential medical care. The ability to afford necessary treatments, prescription drugs, and routine exams increases, improving overall health results. A recurrent issue for many seniors is a sense of security in their residence, which might be enhanced by the newly acquired financial stability. Consider elderly people who are well off, free from the burden of exorbitant housing bills. In addition to putting them under financial strain, the larger monthly checks help them feel stable and a part of their communities. Seniors can live life to the fullest without worrying about how they will pay their rent, laying the groundwork for a happy retirement. However, life is more than just the necessities. The extra money gives seniors the chance to pursue interests and social activities they might have had to give up because of budgetary limitations. This increased adaptability helps counteract the social isolation that many senior citizens experience and promote mental and emotional health. This decision's knock-on consequences are reverberating throughout communities sparking intergenerational discussions about the value of honoring and valuing our elderly. The younger generations see directly the beneficial effects that social policies can have on the life of the elderly, cultivating a sympathetic and understanding society. Now let's turn our attention to how this choice will affect the economy. An increase in older citizen savings has a knock-on effect on regional economies. Seniors with their are likely to spend money on products and services, which boosts local economies. There are benefits for both local businesses and elders in this scenario. But it's important to understand that this increase in funding isn't a magic bullet for every problem seniors encounter. It draws attention to persistent problems like affordable housing, healthcare accessibility, and senior-focused social services. Even though the larger monthly payments are a step in the right direction, structural problems still require ongoing attention. Beyond pressing issues, seniors have the chance to participate in their ongoing personal growth with this financial boost. Seniors can pursue educational goals and maintain mental activity by having easier access to workshops online courses, and lifetime learning. This helps our community's collective wisdom in addition to the immediate benefits to the individual.